So far in this course, we've seen how to create a brand new blank workbook. But there are lots of other methods that we can use to save time. And one of those methods is to use templates. So we're going to close out of this file that we've been working on. Now, when it comes to closing files, there are a couple of really important points to note, because I know from experience that this can trip people up. A lot of people think that to close the workbook that they're working on, they click on the cross in the top right hand corner. Now, just be aware this will close all of Excel, not just the workbook that you're working on. So if you accidentally do this, it means you're going to have to restart Excel and then reopen your files. If you want to just close the workbook, but leave Excel open, you need to go to file and you have a close button just here. Another way that you can close is to simply use the keyboard shortcut control W. Notice it's closed the workbook, but it's left Excel open. So this time we're going to create a new workbook, but we're going to use a template instead. Now we get to our templates simply by going to file and then we can jump to new. Alternatively, we could use keyboard shortcuts to do this. We could press Alt, F and N. That's going to take us to where we need to be. And I'm going to press the Alt key again to get rid of those keyboard shortcuts. You can press Escape or Alt. Now notice at the top there we have new blank workbook. That is by far the most common template, I guess, that you're going to select. But if we scroll down, check out what we have. We have a tab called Office and then we have all of these online templates. And these are templates provided by Microsoft, which are pre-populated with formatting and information to give you a head start when you're creating spreadsheets. So which one of these templates you choose really depends on what it is that you're trying to do. You will see that they are organized into different categories. So we have business, personal, planners and trackers, so on and so forth. Alternatively, you can simply click at the top here and type in what you're looking for. So maybe I'm looking for an invoice template. I'm going to type in invoice. I can press enter or click the magnifying glass. It's going to search through all of the online templates and produce a list of all of the ones that match invoice. So I can then scroll through and I can find one that I think looks quite nice. Let's go for this one just here. When we click on it, we're going to get a little bit of information about the template. We can see the download size and then we can click on create. That's going to download the template and open it up in Excel. And the cool thing about these templates is that a lot of them are pre-populated with things like formulas so that you don't really have to do anything yourself. For example, this is an invoice template. So what I'm probably going to do down here is I'm going to enter the quantity, the description, the unit price of whatever service I'm invoicing for. But check out where we have line total. If I click in this cell, if we look in the formula bar, can you see there's already a formula in here? And this formula is going to calculate what the line total is based on the quantity and the unit price. Hi, from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. The template also comes nicely formatted, so we don't have to spend any time designing a nice looking invoice. All we would probably do here is insert our own logo. And if we wanted to change the colors, we could come in and we could do that. Everything in here is customizable, but it just gives you a really nice base to start from. Now, if this invoice template is a template that I want to use over and over again for different clients or customers, it's beneficial to save this blank invoice as a template that we can reuse over and over again. So if we go up to the file menu, this is where we need to go into save as. Now, when you come to this save screen, it can look a little bit complicated at first, but what you should see in here is your OneDrive account that's associated with your Microsoft 365 account. And if you have a SharePoint site, you're going to see that in there as well. So you can see I have access to my OneDrive and also my site in SharePoint. So I can choose to save into either of these locations. Alternatively, if you're more familiar with saving via File Explorer, then if you click the Browse button just here, that's going to open up the File Explorer window that might be more familiar to you. 
and you can navigate to whichever folder you want to save this template into. Now, one thing to note here when you're thinking about where to save your template, notice underneath we have save as type and currently it says Excel workbook. All Excel workbooks, when you save them, will have the default file extension of .xlsx. Now, if you want to save something as a template, you need to change this to this file type just here, Excel template .xltx. Now, when I select this type, it jumps me to a very specific folder. Notice that I'm now in Documents, Custom Office Templates. And in here, this is where I'll find all of my Excel file templates. Now, I would highly recommend that you save your templates into this default folder that it takes you to. And I'll show you in a minute why. Let's just give our invoice a name. So I'm going to say customer invoice template and click on save. So now that we have this saved, let's close it down. Control W. And if we go back to file and new, if I want to reuse that template, all I would need to do is click on the personal heading just here, because underneath personal, this is where we can see all of the templates that we've saved. So I have quite a few in here. This is the one we just saved. When I click to open it up, you can see there it is. And it's automatically been given a name of customer invoice template one. So any changes we make here are not going to overwrite the original because we saved it as customer invoice template. So that is the reason why I will always save into that custom folder to make it easy to access from underneath personal. So don't forget about these office templates. There are so many useful ones in here. As I said, they are brilliant for giving you a head start when creating Excel worksheets. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.